Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. We're going to do number 8 on the California uh, Teacher Certification Exam, the CBEST California Teacher Certification Exam, uh, their mathematics test. It's a nice problem to review ideas with uh, approximating and uh, model drawing. So I'm going to read it over. This is one of our, our number sense word problems, so I'm going to, as I read it over, I'm going to work on visualizing the problem and also doing some model drawing to help organize some of the information that's in the problem so I can solve it uh, relatively quickly and with accuracy. So first, let's start by reading it over. Number eight. Rob uses one box of cat food every five days to feed his cats. Approximately how many boxes of cat food does he use per month? And we have options. Now I want to read it over and I'm going to do a model drawing to help visualize what's in, the, what's in the problem. So there's a box. One box of cat food. One box is equal to five days. Is that right? And I'm trying to find out how long it's going to take to approximately feed a cat, not just for five days, but for uh, over a whole month. Now it says approximately how long is it going to take per month? So I think we should, I think it's pretty fair to say, well, let's use the approximation of, of a month having 30 days. That's what that's trying to refer to. And I'm going to go here, I'm going to say, what is 30 days? How many boxes would you use up in 30 days? Well, if one box is five days, let's draw some more boxes. Here, let's, uh, if I added another box, that would be, what, 10 days? 15 days, 20 days, 25, 30 days. And as I go through this process of working out my model drawing, a model drawing that sort of uh, um, organizes the information and it sort of leads me to the answer because by the time I'm done with this picture and I see that, hey, these boxes all add up to 30 days. Well, how many boxes do I have? Oh, okay, well, I'll go through this process. And by doing this process, I'm making the right connections to say, if all these boxes add up to 30 days, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes here, six boxes is going to equal to 30 days. The model drawing uh, helps me organize information that's in the word problem, and in the process of working through drawing the picture and making these connections, I'm able to guide myself to the answer and get to the answer with confidence because now I have a picture that reinforces that it, six boxes is equal to 30 days. And, and that's the type of confidence that you want to get when you answer these questions. You want to be certain that it is D. It is going to take six boxes because six boxes is going to be equal to 30 days. And that is going to be reinforced in my quick sketch that I do on my, my scrap sheet of paper. Okay, we're going to do more of these, team, more model drawing, especially when it comes to the number sense problems. But use this one, practice this one, and you'll see some more as we go along. All right, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Take care.